Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Charles Young, back at you again. Follow me on OpenThoughts.com. That's open, T-H-O-T-S.com. Um, so let me get right into it. Uh, so I've been thinking about uh, certain things, certain situations that's been going on, and I've been waking up to the fact of words and how powerful words can be and, and the things that we say, how much power they actually have. I know as a kid, we always was told to say, oh, sticks and stones can break my bones, but words will never hurt. And that's a lie because words can end a person's purpose. It can kill a child's purpose. If you tell them you're stupid, you're never going to be anything, you're dumb. A child really com computes a lot of this stuff. It just really, they just accept this information in. They don't know if it's factual or not. They just hear the individual saying it to them and they start believing it. It's just almost equivalent to saying, oh, Santa Claus is real. Oh, the Tooth Fairy is real. Oh, uh, the Boogeyman's real. Oh, Trupla Clabla is real. <laughs> So, you know, hearing that stuff, children don't know. And when we say that words are not powerful, they do. They hold a lot of power to them. People don't know that you really can hurt somebody or yourself with saying negative things. And what I really wanted to get on was the fact of how blacks talk about other blacks or how Af other African Americans talk about other African Americans. And an issue is I hear a lot from very intellectual speakers. We always I hear them say, black people never do this. Black people don't know this because black people this. Black people don't this. Black, black people don't do that. And all this, you know, all these negative charged things about what black people don't do. And then they voice those opinions because it's emotion based and other people accept them. And then they start saying it. And then people don't realize is that the universe only accepts what you put out there. So if all these people are saying the same thing, guess what? They're going to pick that up. So let me give you an example. Okay, coming from out of the church background, there's a lot of power in church. There's a lot of powerful things that actually happen through prayer. Prayer is like a state of meditation. And as we know that a state of meditation can help. If you're chanting on some certain situation, it can actually change. So prayer is just a form of meditation. So a lot of these individuals I know coming from out of the church background have healed people that actually have been stone dead, that are actually labeled dead. And they actually prayed them back because they chanted. And they took their energy and put it into that individual and it was able to um, get this person to be alive. This happening to one of my cousins, my aunt, and also my one of my, my grandfather uh, a long time ago. So I know that, that this energy is possible. So therefore, these individuals are always praying on to help somebody. I've seen people be healed from cancer because of the same situations. People been uh, um, saved from a lot of, a lot of different ailments and things based upon people coming together having a soul uh, a goal the same goal and working together and building their energy together now with that being said when people are saying negative things what do you think is happening what do you think can occur the same thing you you're only charging up negative things when they say black people don't ever work together well guess what it's hard to get black people to work together because we always keep continuously chanting that now if 10 people if 10 people in the church come together and pray over this one individual who has died and that person can be alive can be risen from the dead as their stone dead because i've seen i've heard it i've heard it and seen it happen stone dead right what, what do you think 100,000 black people saying black people don't work together can do? It can only hurt us because we're giving that to the energy. We're giving that energy that we could be using for positive saying black people work together. We stick together. We love each other. We're not hateful people. We're not this. We're not that. We, we are powerful people. We work together. We are special. Why don't we use that energy? Instead of calling on the negative things you, want, you, you don't desire, Call on the things you do desire and do it in groups. We work together, work together in family and in, in, in unison, just like as you would if you were in a church setting. Because the more I've learned about words and how powerful they are and how to express them to the universe, the more I've received. I've received so many things just by only focusing on the things I desire the most and not the things I don't really care about. I don't like to say, I don't want to be dumb. I'm, I don't want this. I don't want, no. 
unless I'm talking about like some food or I don't want this object, this situation at a certain time that's placed in front of me, unless I don't want that. But I don't dwell upon something that I say I don't want in the future. And I learn how and I learn how and still am learning how to change that. So what I'm telling you is watch what you're saying. Only dwell on the things that you desire truly. If you want black people to work together, say positive things. Say positive affirmations to the universe. Come together in groups just like individuals do in meditation or prayer. And say po positive, powerful things that the universe can grab onto and gravitate to and give us and attract the positive and the desirable things we want. Instead of saying all of the negative things that we know we do not desire and we wish we could change. So... You know, that's that's how I feel about that. Um, you know, if you disagree with that, let me know. I really want to know what you really think. Um, if you if you, you like what I'm saying, like it, pass it, share it on. But we got to know that we have to change our way of thinking for the better of us as being black individuals and trying to be evolved and advanced in this society that continuously grows even if we don't grow. So... Uh, follow me on OpenThoughts.com. That's Open, T-H-O-T-S. If you like it, you know, talk to me, like I said. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The description, all that stuff will be in there in the description box at the below. Uh, I don't know why I always get that. But follow me on the, uh, follow me in the description box below. So, you, with all my information. So, I thank you and you stay positive. Okay, peace.